This is Dr. Richard Bernstein with session nine of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, in this session, we're going to be d discussing again dehydrating illness, which we did a few sessions back when we talked about vomiting. Now we have a subject that's almost as much fun as vomiting, and that is diarrhea. Now, I'm not talking about uh, the severe, uh, dangerous diarrheas, bloody diarrheas with a fever that uh, you may get from uh, travel or uh, unique exposures. I'm talking about the day-to-day -day thing that's very common, especially in children, but that uh, almost everyone experiences uh, every few years. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how we handle it. Now let's say that a patient of mine has an episode of very loose stools, maybe even explosive. I tell him that he shouldn't bother me until he has a second episode. Why on earth would I tell her that? Because many people will have something for dinner that was spoiled. They'll get diarrhea, they'll get the material out of their intestines, and they'll feel better. But if they have a second episode, I'm worried because then they might have a third and a fourth and get severely dehydrated. So if someone has a second episode, I say, call me immediately. What do I tell them? Number one, I ask for other symptoms just to make sure that it's only simple diarrhea, uh, usually due to a gastrointestinal virus uh, on rare occasions, it might be a bacterial enteritis, but I want to make sure it's not something uh, special. Uh, if it's if we if you have bloody stool or a fever, the ball game changes dramatically, and I'm not going to discuss that kind of ball game. So if someone uh, calls me and they've had a second episode of diarrhea, I will remind them that I. Uh, told them at their first visit to purchase Lomotil, L-O-M-O-T-I-L. Uh, generically, it's diphenoxalate. And what's special about uh, diphenoxalate, it also has atropine in it, what's special about it is that it comes in liquid as well as tablets. Why am I interested in liquid? simply because it works faster than the tablets. So, I have every new patient, before I see them for the first time, purchase diphenoxalate plus atropine liquid and tablets. The liquid is intended for infants, and it's administered to infants uh, with a plastic dropper that's marked at 2.5 ml and 5 ml. Um, which also corresponds to 2.5 milligrams and 5 milligrams. Uh, for an adult, uh, I might have them take 10 or 20 droppers full right away, which, is a high, which would be a very high dose for an infant, but is probably around the right dose for an adult. Uh, for uh, a 5-year-old child, we might try a few droppers full. Uh, it's all trial and error. Uh, one might ask, well, what about adverse effects? I've only had one person out of thousands get adverse effects, and that was me. I had uh, severe diarrhea from a separate condition that we'll talk about in another session called CVID, and I took 37 tablets because I had to testify as an expert witness in court. Well, the 37 tablets dried out my intestines, but also dried out my larynx, and when I tried to speak, nothing came out. 
<laughs> but I'm the only person I know of who had a side effect. Um, so we start with the liquid low modal and we take uh, a number of droppers full, many droppers full for an adult and a few for a child and we have to wait for it to work. It might take 45 minutes to an hour. I usually give it 45 minutes to see some effect and if we see no effect after 45 minutes I'll double the prior dose uh, and we'll keep do doing that until we get to a dose that works but we give it at least 45 minutes uh, to give it a chance. Once we know what dose worked we know that each two and a half milliliters on the dropper corresponds to one tablet, the two and a half milligram tablets. And uh, we will wait three or four hours and give that number of tablets. To extend the time between tablets because you may be getting better. Uh, usually these episodes of diarrhea last about 24 hours. So uh, by the time you get the dose initially adjusted, you might want to try, uh, let's say you started taking tablets every three hours, you might see if you can get every three and a half hours without getting more diarrhea. And if that works, you try for every four hours. And if that works, every four and a half hours. Eventually, if you wait long enough, you'll get to the point where the diarrhea uh, has gone away. So that's the ball game. Now as far as fluid replacement, it's exactly the same as fluid replacement was when we were dealing with vomiting. So we're going to have to drink uh, for a, let's say a 140 pound person uh, something like a minimum of two and a half liters of spiked fluid per day. And I told you in the prior session how to spike it, I'll repeat it, which is a level teaspoon of table salt per quart and a quarter teaspoon of the potassium salt, which is sold for people uh, with hypertension, usually comes in a blue uh, cardboard box. I'll show it to you again. Nope. Here it is. So a quarter teaspoon of calcium of potassium salt per per uh, quart of fluid. Fluid could be water, it could be diet soda, or you could take sugar-free Gatorade without any spiking, no extra salts, or you could take uh, mineral water without any extra spiking. Um, remember that if you have bloody diarrhea or a fever, you should see a physician and taking the low modal may not be a good idea because you might want to get the toxic material out of your system. Thanks for listening. Please uh, come back for the next session of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, this is an insertion in the session about diarrhea. I've uh, heard many gastroenterologists over the years telling people that if you have diarrhea, you can still eat. Uh, yet, I've, by the, a similar token, heard the spouses of patients tell me he only has diarrhea when he eats or she only has diarrhea when she eats. So I've learned from my patients or at least from their spouses that you shouldn't feed somebody who has diarrhea. You're, you stand a good chance of making it worse. Uh, so stay away from food. The most bouts of diarrhea last only a day or two. 
so you're not likely to starve anyone. If it becomes a matter of starvation, then things are much more serious than we're discussing here. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.